I think I've done quite a lot of videos now on Squarespace forms because they keep chopping and changing and upgrading bits here and there. And it, it is, it's great, but it's also quite hard to keep up with. But one of the main things that everyone's been crying out for for years that they've now done is uploading files through forms on Squarespace. And this is excellent. So think of, let's say, a careers page. You want people to be able to upload a CV as well as answer questions. Let's say it's an application for something. So I had this on a model talent website or something. Any models who wanted to apply would do the application on the form and then upload like um, promo shots or headshots that they'd done. Uh, could, be a, could be a ton of different things. But basically, you can now upload, I think, it's any manner of file up to about 20 meg, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it's something around that. And I think the maximum is five at a time. But we'll, we'll come on to this when I when I hop onto the screen. But basically, the gist is we can now upload files through forms. And that is excellent for everybody's Squarespace website. If we go into edit, and let's say we want to put our form in. So let's go down to where would a form fit in here? Let's, I reckon we'll pop it in here. So add a block search for form and then we'll just stick it in there looks about right to me now all you need to do is double click on the form go into edit form fields and then add a field here you can see where is it there we go file upload and then you can see there's a space for the file here if we click in we can label it which would be here we can add a description, which I don't know why you'd want to, but maybe, maybe let's go back to the model agency. We can say, upload your headshots here. There we go, that makes sense. And then you can make it required or not required. It's completely up to you. Only allow specific file types, which is a really nice touch. So images only, documents only, presentations only, whatever it may be. Or untoggle it if you just want to take anything and everything. I would say you can't trust people to upload the right format. So instead of um, like really limiting them, just keep it off. And then max number of files. So I think this goes up to five. Yeah, five. Goes up to five. So you can choose you know, how many you want to let people upload. After that, you head back and then you can go into design if you wish. And then you can then change the form style if you want. Um, I don't don't know whether it changes the add file part. Let's see. Oh, okay, yeah, it does. It changes the border radius, um, but nothing, uh, nothing crazy. Anyway, once you're happy with that, click out, hit save, hit exit, and then if we go back down to our form, you can see if we click on the plus, it's gonna prompt us to upload, um, upload our files. So users can do that, fill everything in, click submit, and then it will come through to you in your. I'll show you now in your contacts section. So contacts, and then if we click on here and form submitters, you will see all your form submissions in here uh, with uploaded files as well. So hopefully you found that useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and hit subscribe. And if you want me to build your Squarespace website, you can get in touch using the links in the description.